Hi, I'm Paige Steers. I'm here with Sharon Crone, a leadership coach and past president of Cruise Chicago. We're talking about the convention coming to Chicago in October. And as we do that, Sharon, it's exciting because this is an opportunity to hear about executive women advancement, one of the big topics. And you have co-chaired their industry research program, which has done some really interesting things. What compelled a look at this research for women? Paige, over the last decade, Crew Network has conducted a number of benchmark studies on the status of women in commercial real estate. Uh, the last was conducted in 2010, which we handled in partnership with Cornell University, where we looked at a range of issues that affected men and women in our industry. And last year, as a follow-up to that study, we interviewed 20 chief executives of large real estate organizations and asked them questions that were raised by this our study in, in 2010. And what did they find unique to women? Are there similar concerns as you looked at this? There were many interesting issues that were raised in the study. Uh, the success and satisfaction paper really focused on a number of key issues. We had found that m men and women did not exert the same level of satisfaction and dissatisfaction in the industry. In fact, women were more dissatisfied than men in commercial real estate. And we were interested to know why that was the case and what we could do about it. And we thought it would be important to talk to employers and to women themselves to determine what employers could do and what women themselves could do to resolve this issue. So you have this research out there. Is this a how-to guide for women in the industry and for employers that really want to find out how to include women and keep them in their ranks? Yes, that was our point in, in doing it. We did not want just to put together a piece of research that would sit on a shelf, mm. but we were looking to further the mission of the organization of CREW to help advance the success and satisfaction of women in our industry, and that really requires a partnership between women, th women themselves and employers who can help propel women forward. And on our website, we have some specifics on what women can do and what employers can do. And these two studies that I mention now are, are there in the website, and people could take a look at that and really begin to use that as a way to move themselves ahead and a way for employers to help women advance in a way that will benefit the organization. Well, that's a really strong case for action, Sharon. Thank you so much for doing that. We'll look at that stuff online. We also encourage our viewers to come to the convention because that is where you can intersect with a lot of this primary research, but also with people that are helping accelerate careers of many. So we thank you for joining us, Sharon. Thank you, Paige. I appreciate it.